Hey everyone, Andrew back for another Coffee Talk video. Yes, we are finally back. Sorry for um, the week break that I took, um, but as I've explained in other videos, I was in the midst of a very chaotic move. <laughs> um, but I'm back home in New Jersey now. So yeah, everything's chill. We're back to quarantining, but in a different state. Um, but anyways, yeah, so that's why I was not able to record any last week, so I apologize if the two people who watched these videos were anticipating it, <laughs> but we have it this week. Anyways, we are back with, um, today, Friday, October 2nd, 2020. Um, it's been clearly two weeks since I played last time, so I don't quite remember what happened. I'm pretty sure last time was when Neil um, came behind the bar and acted sort of as our customer liaison for the day, I guess for the night. Um, I think that was also when Myrtle and Aqua came in and they kind of had like a, maybe a little date situation going on, like a little girls vacay. Um, I think last episode was also the episode where we found out that um, Freya had, like, officially doesn't work, um, you know, doing her column for the paper anymore, I'm pretty sure. Um, if I'm wrong, sorry, but, you know, these videos are uploaded, so if you're super curious and want a more in-depth or correct um, recollection, please feel free to watch the previous episode. Anyways, we are here with a new night, and let's see what it has in store for us. I'm super excited to get back into this. Um, I haven't played this game in a minute, so oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so our main headline today, The Evening Whispers is with the people for stricter gun laws. Okay, we're here for it. I don't know why that extra S is there with whispers, but um, we're here for this headline. New healthier fury sedative might be available sooner. Okay. Good to know. And then finally, action video game, Rising Hell, blamed for violence in school. Hmm. I thought we already sort of got over these problems, at least in the real world we did. I remember, you know, in like the early to mid 2000s, that was, I think even in the 90s as well, that was like a really big conversation um, about video games causing violence and stuff. Uh, I... I'm not gonna weigh in on that. Let's just get started. Okay, welcome to who? <gasps> Bailey's! Uh, good evening, Mr. Bailey's. Evening. Am I the first customer tonight? You appear so. You are indeed. That's new. I was gonna say, where's Freya, probably? <laughs> exactly, Freya's not here. Trust me, I'm just as surprised as you are. She said she's coming later tonight. Got something to do with meeting some fellow writer friends. Okay, cool. She clearly has a social life outside of this coffee shop. Why not do it here? It's her favorite place, right? <laughs> I guess. Her friends have visited this place from time to time, just not as much as her. Writer's gathering, huh? I wonder what writers talk about when they're handing out. I've known them for some years now. She has this habit, you know. If she's said they're friends, it means they're just hanging out normally. But if she said they were writer friends, they're probably talking about work. I mean, fair. Either giving each other feedback on their latest drafts or sharing and validating ideas. Interesting. Indeed, sounds productive. They even use code words for meeting up. <laughs> oh, it's not like that. She doesn't even realize that's what she says. I just picked up on it. Well, when I've been hanging out <laughs> with this girl almost every night for years, I guess at this point, you pick up on little nuances like that. That's even more interesting. Are you always so observant? Well, when... I stand behind a counter all day, I guess I have no part, exactly. I have nothing else to do. 
It's part of the job. Why is that? People come here every day. Some of them aren't as talkative as others, but their body language can be loud and clear. Very true. It can tell you a lot of things, whether they need a friendly ear or just want to be alone. It applies to what they're ordering as well, because, you know, sometimes what people want is not what they need. Ugh, the wisdom, profound. That's deeper than I would have thought. So, what are you reading for me now? I won't say. Why? Because it's a secret, just for me. That would break the charm, exactly. The hell was that? I guess I can say this much. Whatever I say or do to our customers, it's always related to what I'm getting from their body language. Seems like good customer relations to me. Including our interaction now. Including our interaction now. Yes, even now. Man, now I see why you didn't want to share. Even that was enough to make me feel like I'm naked in front of you. By the way, I haven't ordered anything. Yeah, what you want? What are you having? Hot chocolate with ginger and cinnamon. I heard that's a good drink for a bitter heart. <laughs> okay. With ginger and cinnamon. Okay, well, I can't. Usually what I would use chocolate, milk, and that, but I can only use four. So obviously, I guess I need to use these ingredients. Chocolate, ginger, cinnamon. No milk involved in this drink at all. <laughs> ginger, cinnamon, chocolate. I mean, whatever. Cinnamon, ginger, chocolate. Same difference. Okay, serve it up. Here it is. Mmm. Not bad. Thank you. I don't know what the... But you can do better. Next time, try prioritizing the ingredients differently. So I guess I needed to do the ginger before the cinnamon switch up the quantities some understood that's my bad i'm so sorry at least you got what you wanted anyways say andrew tell me about yourself well i love lawn walks on the beach <laughs> just kidding actually that's not a joke but um that was a jest what do you want to know anything how old are you Old enough to open a coffee shop. Ooh, I'm so, I'm so mysterious, so cryptic. Oh man, I guess I should say sorry for asking that. It's all right, but that's the only answer I can give. Now you're making me wonder what I should ask next. Well, I'm probably not gonna give you a straight up answer, so you gotta take what you can get. Oh my God, Freya, you look <laughs> strung out, girl. Hello, everyone. Everybody's like, what is going on with this girl? Why are you both looking at me like that? Well, you're a little twitchy. Freya, you look horrible. <laughs> well, shit, I'm just gonna come right out and say it, I guess. No, I don't. Well, yeah, you do actually, yeah. The bags under your eyes have bags, girl. Like, come on now. No, I don't. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to echo our dear barista. Yeah, you do. <laughs> what happened? She's about to be triggered. Oh my god. You'd better... You'd be better asking what didn't happen. Because the answer would be... Proper sleep. And decent progress on my draft. Well... It's a hard knock life. You need to rest. And miss my deadline... Hell no. Sorry, Baileys. I won't be able to keep you company because I have to finish this thing. And for that, I need a whole hell of a lot of espresso. Girl, preach. Are you sure about that? You really should just rest. Yeah, I don't think caffeine is what you need right now, but pop off. Get something to help you sleep. Yeah, maybe some chamomile tea, some decaf chamomile tea espresso she is a fiend she's fiending please all right girl triple shot oops triple shot here you go 
I feel like this is me just feeding into her, like, <laughs> bad habit addiction here. Is she gonna, like, chug the whole thing really fast? I don't want to do this. You really need to have a rest, Freya. Just give me the damned espresso. God, she's hollering at me. Okay. <sighs> this will keep me from falling asleep. I think that's the opposite of what you need, but okay. Ugh. How was the meeting? It was pretty good. I got a lot of good advice. But that also means things... And not a small number of them, mind you. Need to be rewritten. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's not that bad. Rewriting is part of the process. <sighs> it's just that... It's just... Spit it out, girl. I'm going to my usual corner. <laughs> she needs to sulk and write. Thanks to your coffee, I might make it through the night. Well, good luck, girl. I hope you don't die of a heart attack from caffeine overdose and lack of sleep. She looks horrible. She does. <laughs> yeah, let's just talk shit about her. Why not? But don't worry about her. She'll finish it. This isn't the first time she's acted like this. No, yeah, I, that wouldn't surprise me. But this time, the stakes are pretty high. Hmm. So, what brings you here today? I'm not even sure myself. Camping out for Lua? Is she gonna roll up, maybe? Maybe that's not what he wants. Well, he does. <laughs> I don't think that's what she wants, though. I had no plan tonight, and this place just came to mind. Out of the blue. Well, I'm glad we are... Exactly. Thanks to your subconscious. Uh, yeah, we love some recall going on here. I guess you should. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Am I a freaking clairvoyant or what? Are you kidding me right now? <gasps> oh my god. This shit's about to blow up. Not sure whether I should thank it or not, though. Hi, Lua. Hi, Baileys. Okay, we have some soft smiles going on. I wonder if they've spoken. Oh, smiles have disappeared, but I wonder if they've spoken since uh, the last time they spoke here. Probably not, I would assume. How? Oh my god. Ah, oh, they're so awkward. I can't. Oh my god. You first. No, you first. Oh my god. This is so cheesy, but I love it. Okay. I was just gonna ask, how are you doing? I'm fine. Thanks. How about you? I'm good, yeah. Could cut the tension with a knife, the awkwardness with a butter knife. Hmm. I think I need to order something first. Oh, of course, of course. Go ahead. Hi, Andrew. Hey, Lua. What are you having this evening, Miss Lua? Gingerbread coffee, please. Okay. Um. I. Definitely is gonna have cinnamon. Would ginger be too much? Let's try this. I only have, I think, five chances, so I hope I don't mess it up. Milk cinnamon coffee. Not quite. Maybe... I guess we'll try this? I don't know. Gingerbread coffee. Lit. Okay, I got it. That looks really pretty, too. Here it is. Thank you. You are so welcome. My grandma used to make this drink for me. It reminds me so much of her. It reminds me of when I was growing up. With my family. Ooh! Yikes! She's looking right at him saying that too. Oh my god, is she- Oh my god! Y'all, I'm not ready for this. 
Okay, he's just gonna brush by that. How's work? It's going pretty okay. You? I'm not taking any new jobs on at the moment because, well, you know, yeah, I get it. You have enough in your savings, right? That's a very Lua thing to say. She's just looking out for you. But yeah, I do. Good. Thanks to that last annoying job. It went well in the end? It kind of did. Yeah, so they clearly haven't spoken. They paid me on time, at least. Well, that's good. And the pay was amazing. How long are you planning to take a break for? I don't know. Until my problems are settled, I guess. And what problems are those? Uh, girl, you're really gonna make him say it? I think we all know what the problem is here. I'll tell you this, but don't tell anyone, okay? Not even Andrew, who's standing <laughs> in front of us? Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'll close my ears, close my eyes, and pretend I'm not hearing this. Not even Andrew. Okay. So there's this girl. <gasps> I love her. Oh, it's gonna be Lua. We've been going out for a few years, and I'm not really sure where we stand now. How can you not be sure? We had an argument about a week ago. Was that really only a week ago? Jeez. Time flies. It wasn't anything new. I guess time doesn't... Would that mean time flies? Yeah. Because things feel like they've... It seems much longer than a week. But somehow things escalated uncontrollably. Why is that? Well, I guess you guys couldn't come to a... Sort of, you know, an agreement, a compromise. I assume... Both of us were just tired, knowing that we're fighting against centuries of tradition. We haven't really talked since our last fight. Leaving things unresolved is not a good idea. Okay, that's calling the kettle black. You're the one who walked out on him. Ma'am, but go off. But I can't bring myself to start the conversation. Well, I mean, you are right now, which is good. It's a good step. Why? Even I'm not sure about that. Pride, maybe. Or tiredness. Or knowing that, chances are, we won't be able to find the best solution for everyone anyway. <sighs> Baileys. I have a question. Go ahead. What do you think she's feeling right now? To be honest, I don't know. This whole, like, weird third-person thing, I get if this is how they need to get, like, this dialogue out, but it kind of is a little silly, but, you know, I'm not one to tell them how they should handle their problems, I guess. Even though that's kind of what I have been doing, but we'll just put that aside. <laughs> She's not like me, that's for sure. Thankfully. Why? At least it won't affect her professional life that much. I'm glad I'm a freelancer. It means I can just take a break from work without so many problems. Sounds nice. Also, of course, there are risks associated with that, but... Sounds nice, regardless. I'm not as professional as her, you see. I think you're wrong. Really? If I were her, I would find it difficult to live life as usual. But I'd put on a lot of masks just to hide the feelings I was going through. That sounds difficult and uncomfortable. It is. But a friend told me once, you gotta do what you gotta do. There we go. He must have been a pretty cool guy. He is. Oh, okay. So sweet. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, I can't. What's next for us, Baileys? Okay, we've <laughs> we've moved past the third-person dialogue here. I don't know, Lua. I I met some new people this week, including that supermodel. You knew? That girl in the corner told me. Yeah, including that supermodel. 
And how does that make you feel? Like a fool. Oh, hide. What? He said a lot of things I've been trying to avoid thinking about. A lot of truths. Good, I'm so glad that she has come around to the dialogue that her and Hyde had. You know, he maybe his wording and perhaps his tone could have been better, but what he was saying, he was speaking some truth. And I'm glad she, um, you know, has done some reflecting and has come to realize that. He's a bit like you, you know, attitude wise. You'd get along with him. Doubt it. Yeah, I don't think they, I guess they haven't met before. Opposites attract, but similarity breeds contempt. Ever heard that before? A lot. I've actually only ever heard the first part. Um, not the second part though, that's interesting. From a certain hipster elf. <laughs> well, and after listening to that guy, what's your stance on, you know, us? Ooh, loaded question. I'm not sure, Baileys. What about you yourself? Had any similar experiences this week? Yeah, I think he spoke with um, Gala, did he not? I have, in fact. You met a vampire. Okay, yeah, I thought so. You met a vampire, and I met a werewolf. Hmm. What are the odds? What are the odds indeed? Well, this coffee shop only attracts, I guess, certain clientele, so it was bound to happen. What did your werewolf say? Hmm. Not much, to be honest. But he made a good point about the importance of family. Bailey's. I know I've been stubborn about you wanting... Sorry. I know I've been stubborn about you wanting me to make peace with my family. And I know why that's very important for you. But Freya said something that kind of hit me hard. What was it? I was just using you as an excuse to escape my family. Hmm. And I actually want to do that anyway. For myself. Whew. You know me, Baileys. I do. And you know how I feel uncomfortable with people leaving their families. I mean, we get it. That's not... I was going to say, that's not really your choice. It's his, but... Which makes me an asshole, I guess. I wouldn't say an asshole, but yeah, I think everybody here can understand why you have those sentiments. Sentiments, pardon me. I get why you think that way, Lua. Blood is thicker than water. That is not the correct, like, quote. Um, it kind of has a... I'm pretty sure we've spoken about this in the past. I have anyways, um, in a previous episode, but... That's been a very much, like, misconstrued um, saying. It actually has the opposite meaning than how people use it. But, anyways, what should we do? <sighs> Lua. Yes, Baileys? Please let me leave my family. I'll try to get your family to accept me. That sounds like the easier thing to do, after all. But you'll lose your immortality. Oh, are we going to have more dynamic, um, you know, uh, sort of dialogue here? You'll be an outcast amongst other elves. An outcast from a bunch of overly pretentious people? Sounds great. You'll live a long time. But you won't have the perfect health and perfect life that's the elven privilege. But it's not a perfect life without you. Ah! Oh my god. What if our relationship doesn't last? You'll have lost everything. Well, that's a risk he's gonna have to take. You'll blame me. Lua, I will never blame you for anything. If we're talking about... If we're talking about who I used to be, that guy would have never blamed himself. A hundred reasons for why something failed, but never anything to do with him. But that won't happen with us. You know why? Because I've learned so many things by being with you for 10 years. Yeah, 10 years is a long time. It made me a better person. So you don't need to worry about any of that. Because right now, 
You're the most important, most important part of my life. I don't need an immortal life. I just need a life with you. Because without you, it won't be a life worth living. Ah, Bailey's so sweet. I, I believe in you. Ah. Oh, oh. Oh my god! Oh my god, they kissed! And they're and they kind of made a little heart with their chins. I love that. Lua. Baileys. I feel like we're living in a soap opera. Yeah, I mean, you kinda are. It seems so. So what's our plan? Tomorrow's Saturday. Are we going on a date? I'm going to my parents' place. Oh. And I want you to come with me! Yes! What? That's so sudden. Did you already have plans for tomorrow? Well, no. It's just... I'm not prepared to meet them. You'll be fine. You don't want to tell me about this first? You don't want to tell them about this first? It'll be alright. Well... They never forbade you from dating other races? They're not big fans of elves. That much is true. But you can prove them wrong. Hmm. Okay, this could be a good first step. It is. It's set then. I don't know what'll happen tomorrow. But we can think about it. And anything else. Later. I'm with you on that. So, does that mean you don't mind me? I had my doubts, but now I'm sure. I can trust you. Lua, thank you. Are you still staying at Farron's house? Yeah. You're staying with me tonight. Yes, girl! Hmm? What about your roommate? She's away for the weekend. <gasps> what if her roommate is freaking Myrtle or Aqua? Taking a long weekend getaway until Sunday night. Okay, so it's it has to be either Myrtle or Aqua. Fate is on our side, it seems. Hey, Andrew. Yes? We're leaving. Thank you so much for keeping up with us this past week. <gasps> Y'all, I am cheesing right now. This makes me so happy. I love a happy ending. Well, I guess it's not concluded yet, but it's a good first step. The pleasure was mine. We're off then. See ya. Thank you for coming. Bye! Oh my god, congrats! Ah, oh, the happy couple reunited. Okay. Oh, hey Freya. Well, the bags under your eyes have magically disappeared. That was pretty intense. Oh, you're back in the real world. I just pretend not to notice. They're like one of the main reasons why I'm writing this story. So I have to see their struggle through till the end. It's important for the writing, you know. That's cold. What? It's not like that. It's just that. Yeah, that was cold. Yeah, geez, girl. I'm sorry. You look better than before, though. For now, yeah, you definitely need rest. I can't tell you how I feel until it's done. And I don't... Oh! Oh! Whoa! That was a different sound than before. <gasps> <gasps> um... Gala? Hey! Oh, what is happening here? Okay, am I, like, about to... What's happening? Rarg. <laughs> Whoa! Freya, get over here. This wolf? Is that him? I think so. Welcome, sir. He needs the, um, the sedative. I mean, not the sedative, but the drink. Are you crazy? You can't treat a werewolf in fury like a normal customer. Trust me. He must have his reasons for coming here, because he wants, um, the remedy. Duh. Oh my god. Oh 
my god, Gala! You can relax, sir. Do you need anything? Something to calm you down, maybe? I think that's probably what's needed. I think that's honestly definitely what's needed. Oops, okay. Um, I hope I don't have, like... Okay, can I please see the phone? <gasps> I can't even use my phone. <gasps> I don't remember. T... Oh my god, guys, I don't remember. T... Ginger milk? Oh my god, I don't want to die, please. <laughs> nope. Oh god, I only have three more chances. Or was it coffee? It was tea? Oh. Tea? Milk? Ginger? Maybe? Was that the order I just did? Guys, I don't know. Tea? Mm, I'm nervous. I don't want Gobble to be mad at me. Uh... Please don't be mad at me, Gala. Please. I'm nervous. I don't know what to pick. 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 Um. Okay. Remember, I did tea, ginger milk last time. And I'm pretty... I think those... Maybe I'll do this? Is that what I did? I don't know. Guys, I don't know. I don't know. Please. <gasps> oh my god. Thank the Lord. Okay. My heart's low-key pounding. Here's your... Oh. Chug it. Boy, chug it. Chug it. Oh. 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 Okay. All right. Looks like we're calming down some. Oh. What the hell? Is that really him? Well, you saw the scrubs, girl. After seeing the reaction to the drink, 100%. Well, whoever he is. She shook. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of shook. My heart um, kind of was low-key beating pretty fast there. I wonder if that probably wasn't timed, but imagine if it were. Oh, that'd be so stressful. I'm glad I remember, though. Kind of. This place survived. Thankfully, yeah. But I think I need to close up shop early. <laughs> Don't want to cause any more ruckus. Yeah, I think uh, that seems to uh, be a good idea. And I need to clean up, clean up some of the mess anyway. Good idea. Can you get back all right by yourself? I'll manage. I like this music though. It's very, um, like, it was a little tense in the time, but now I'm hearing it, I'm like a little, okay. A little come upbeat jazz going on here. You be careful too. See you tomorrow. See ya. Okay, I assume that's the end of the night. Yeah, it is. Okay. We have a shy a Denny. Adeni. Mm, sorry, I butchered that. Um, sweet spicy chai latte from the town of Aden, Yemen. Cool. Okay. Whew. Well, that was certainly a thrilling conclusion <laughs> to the night. Um, yeah, I definitely feel very satisfied with um, this, you know, this great step for the reunion, I guess, of um, Lua and Bailey's. We're definitely here for that. That little cinematic kiss we stand. Certainly here for it. Um, I'm sure we're going to get an update on how that uh, situation at Lewis' parents goes. Maybe tomorrow or perhaps the next day. And hopefully, maybe we'll see Gala tomorrow when he is not in a fury state. And um, he can maybe, you know, we'll get to talk to him some about his experience with that. But anyways, that is all for this episode of Coffee Talk. I thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me, spending some of your quarantine with me, you know, just relaxing, chilling out some. Uh, I, again, would like to apologize for no videos last week, but um, I think I've belabored that point to death, so I hope you can understand my situation. But 
These videos should be back uh, regularly every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday until this game concludes. Um, I'm not sure how many episodes or I guess how many days are left in this game, but um, I guess when it is the penultimate episode, I will let you know that it's the penultimate episode. And yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe, healthy, sane, entertained um, during their quarantine. I hope that we are still continuing to practice safety corona procedures. I hope that we are being smart and not going out when we don't need to be. Just because not essential businesses are opening back up, some of them does not mean that we need to, you know, expose ourselves to, you know, the outside environment. We should definitely try to continue to minimize that as much as possible. <sighs> but anyways, I thank you so much for uh, checking the video out, for hanging out with me again, and I will certainly see you guys tomorrow for a new day and the next part. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.